Yo, welcome to another Craftopia guide. In today's guide, I'm going to show you guys how and where to get hell peppers. As always, if this guide helps you, please do drop a like and subscribe. We are closing in on 2,000 subscribers, which is just crazy. And 86% of you guys who regularly watch my videos are not subscribed. So please, please. But let's do this. Now, I get a fair few of you guys coming into my streams and saying, where do I get hell peppers from? Or maybe you know where they are. But you're just like, how do I go and get them? As you kind of need hell peppers to go and get hell peppers. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do it today and how to keep this process going so you're able to have as many hell peppers as you need. So let's do this. Now, before we do anything, we are going to get the hell peppers. Once we have the hell peppers, we're going to make them into hell resistance potions, which will allow us to get even more hell peppers. Now, all I recommend using for this is actually a bunch of food. So take a look at some random food that you've picked up along the way, whatever it may be. For example, I have some apple pies here. Now, apple pies, they give me 20% hunger. That's not very good, but they do boost my health by 150. You see, when you go into hell without hell resistance, your hunger comes down and so does your health. So all we need to do is keep that topped up. So because the apple pies, they may not do very good on the healing or the hunger side of things, but they do increase my max health. So that can be useful. Now, I do actually have this pasta bolognese. Now, these actually heal me 300 as well as fill my hunger to 90. And on top of that, I've then got some cupcakes, which are very similar to the apple pies. May not do good for the hunger or the health, but they do increase by another 150. So all I've done is I've put all three of these down on this bar. Now, these are not the best foods, not even close. I'm just showing you that you don't need the best foods. You just need something that's going to bring up your hunger, your health, and maybe something to up your max health to make it so you don't really need to worry and then on top of that i then have the heal ability if you guys haven't seen in my tips and tricks video i advise you guys to use the heal ability it's amazing it's op and it's fantastic for this kind of situation now when it comes to the helicopter the helicopter is going to set fire when you're in hell but it's going to make this a lot faster so i recommend having two helicopters that you're willing to just lose right now i have seven on me helicopters are very easy to make for how useful they are so we are going to go into hell with no heat resistance just some food and two helicopters and we are going to get the hell peppers to allow us to keep going to hell with an actual hell resistance potion so let's do this so let's head to our travel portal and let's choose any of the hell locations now if it's your first time going i recommend choosing the lowest hell you have so this one here, it's a island level 5. This will just mean the enemies aren't an issue. And you can just go straight for those hell peppers. So go ahead and travel to hell. Now if this is your first time going to hell, which it probably is, it may be a bit worrying. It may seem a bit crazy. But honestly, you're just getting in and out as quick as you can. Don't worry about the rest of hell for now. Worry about that when you actually have heat resistance. Now same with all islands. When you first travel to the island, you will see you have this starter spot. So you do not take any damage or anything here. The heat resistance is not needed. But we are going all the way over there. So what we are going to do is we are going to eat our two foods that's going to boost our total HP. And we are going to throw down a helicopter. Now as you can see the helicopter is on fire so we want to get on it and just fly. Just go. You don't have to do it this way. This is just a very easy way in my opinion. As you can see my health is coming down but I've got plenty of health so it's all good. And I'm just going to get on the top up here. Jump off the helicopter. Chuck down a hill. All good to go. Let's go. So if you want, you could use another helicopter now. You can, you can do a bunch of stuff. But as you can see, I'm losing one hunger and 19 health. That's really not a lot. Especially when I have a heal ability. And I also have foods that will keep me healed as well. So what we're going to be doing is coming over to one of these big skulls. These skulls are... Every, over every map but in hell they're lit up red like this and as you can see right on the floor there we have some hell peppers go ahead and grab a bunch of them keep popping your heal ability if you need to keep eating whatever you need to do just get out and there we go simple as that we're now basically gonna head back because the next time we come here we can come here with a hell resistance potion which will mean we just don't need to worry when it comes to actually healing and things like that this is just for the very first time to ensure that we have those hell peppers but if we look into our inventory 
we have three hell peppers, which is great. That will work absolutely fine. So we're going to come on over. Now, you can actually fly all the way back just using your glider. But if you want to, throw down that second helicopter and just fly straight over. But I'm going to use my glider here and we're just going to cruise over back to the portal. Now, I know this may seem a little bit crazy, but... Once you have hell peppers, you can then use heat resistance to come here, visit every skull and absolutely max out on your hell peppers. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our base and you want to make sure that you have a potion brewing stand. Now, if you head into your potion brewing stand and you click on the hell resistance potions, you will see it requires one red herb and one hell pepper. So we just collected three. So that's three hell resistance potions, which is great. That will allow us to get a lot more hell peppers. But it also requires the one red herb. Now herbs, whether it's the blue, the yellow, or the red, including the bright blue, bright red, and so on, are all found just in random biomes. So for example, if you go to a grass biome, you will just find little little flowers sticking out the ground. They are the different colors. So what I recommend doing is as you're going around, just grab a bunch of them. That will then give you the herb itself, as well as the seed, which you can put into a planter and you can continuously make the red herbs. So now when we go ahead and we take out one of each and we head into our potion brewing stand and create one hell resistance. And there we go. So now we have a hell resistance on our bottom bar. So we're going to go and do the same again. We could have just made three, but we're just going to do it with just the one to show you just how simple it truly is. So again, we're going to go to the lowest version of hell that we have. I'm going to throw a helicopter straight down, get some distance on it. It's mainly just about clearing this first bit. It really doesn't hit enough to worry too much about it. It gives you plenty of time to get over. Go ahead and make it to the other side. So I'm going to make sure I stay full healed. Dodge these guys. And then I'm going to pop a hell resistance. And now outside of what I've just been hit by, when that goes, my hunger is no longer being affected. There we go. My hunger is no longer being affected. And neither is my health. So we are going to come on over. And we are basically going to speed run some of these skulls. Now you can come back to the same skull we very first came over to. Grab a bunch of them. And there we go. We just got a seed as well. So now we can use those seeds inside a planter to create as many hell peppers as we need. Or while you're here, just head over to some more skulls. But to be honest, if you have a planter for your red herbs, maybe make a second one, have one for your hell peppers. You could essentially have them continuously being made. Now, if you see, we can see right off to the distance here, the closest skull is either that one over the far side or that one up top there. Now, Again, helicopters are so easy to make. Make the most of them. So I'm going to hit this helicopter. Oh, we have one down there as well. That's great. We could fly down to that one after we're done with this one up here. Now, if you don't want to sacrifice any helicopters, you really don't have to. But with how simple they are and how easy it makes this process, why not? So there we go. I'm going to ditch off the helicopter. Come straight inside. There's some more hell peppers. Great. And then I'm going to pop this chest while I'm here. No thanks. We'll go and do that skull down there real quick. Your hell resistance will be good for running around pretty much the whole of hell. The only time it's not is actually when you start to get really close to lava. When you get close to lava, it actually goes above the heat resistance of the hell potions. So you have to be very careful. As you can see down the bottom bar, these are all your buffs that you are gaining while you're out and about. So, for example, if you pop a hell resistance, that flame right there is your hell resistance. And we're only halfway through our potion. So we have absolutely plenty of time. Now, I'll show you here. If I come right over to this lava, my heat resistance has now gone to 1005, which means my 1000 heat resistance isn't actually doing anything. But as I get further away from the lava... Oh, look, we actually came across some more red herbs here. As we get further away from the lava, we're okay on the hell resistance. We still have plenty left. We've actually got a quarter of a potion left. Now, the hell resistance will give you resistance for 300 seconds, which is plenty of time to get in, go do a couple of skulls, just to ensure that you get that hell pepper and then go straight back out there again. Okay, so now we are back at the base and we can see that from that run, we not only got three red herbs, which is three more hell resistance potions. We also got two wild seeds of hell pepper and nine hell peppers themselves. 
So, as long as we have other red herbs, we could potentially make nine hell resistance right now, which means we can just go to hell and we will always be okay. And then while you're out there and you're actually completing the dungeons within hell, grab some more hell peppers. Just keep topping them up. And when you come on over, so right now I have three herbs on me, so I can just hit max. And boom, there's three hell resistance potions being made. So to summarize, to get your hell peppers, go to hell and look for the big kind of red lava skulls. Go in there and they are just on the floor. You can pick them inside every single skull. Some skulls will have more than others, but you will always get at least one from a skull. Now, I really hope this guide helped you. If it did, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below with anything you need help with or any questions you may have about this method. Remember to take some good food with you to make sure your health and your hunger stays maxed out. But most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!